Let's ask our next guest about this, Nick Pope, a former UK Ministry of Defence UFO investigator. Yes, you heard that right. And um, Mr. Pope, it's great to talk to you. You've often been described by some of the media as a real life Fox Mulder for the British. You were, it was your job to investigate the X-Files, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, indeed. It's quite fun. <laughs> All right, Mr. Pope. Now, you did investigate UFOs for the British government for a long period of time. Uh, so before I ask you what you yourself found, what do you make of the testimonies that we are now hearing from Grush and the others before the U.S. Oversight Committee? Well, the testimonies we heard in the United States Congress yesterday uh, were, were stunning. We have two highly decorated, credentialed military pilots talking about these these strange craft um, running rings around their aircraft and they're flying the best technology the united states has and and these these things are making them look like just toy aircraft and it's not just the pilot's report of course often these ufos are seen on on military radar systems and on satellites so there is physical corroborating evidence. So that was very important. All right, let me ask you a direct question. In all the time that you spent investigating UFOs for the British government, did you ever come across something that you said, I can't explain this. This is something that baffles me. There, there's no scientific or any other explanation for this. It was the cases, and, and most of uh, what we investigated, and I looked at about two or 300 cases each year, after investigation, most of them, of course, turn out to be misidentifications. And sometimes some of this can be secret prototype aircraft, missiles and drones, either your own technology or perhaps uh, an ally or an adversary. But um, on occasion, there are these instances where objects display speeds, maneuvers, accelerations that not only go beyond the cutting edge of of anything you have even as a prototype but seem to defy the laws of physics all right mr pope i'm going to put you on the spot you're the person who investigated ufos for the british government so if you were a betting man and i was going to ask you to place a bet on this do you think aliens have visited the earth in the last hundred years I'm not sure, but if you have to force me to, to pick, I, just because it's more interesting and fun, I'm going to say yes. But I mean, UFOs clearly are a defense and national security issue, and we're finding out more and more about this. NASA is doing a study that will report soon. So I think there's going to be more to come. All right, Mr. Pope, thank you so much for joining us. And I can tell you that if he actually wins that bet, if Aliens did actually visit the Earth in the last hundred years. And if any of what uh, Grosh has said is correct, then, of course, it would be probably the biggest story of any of our lives. But we're going to have to wait to see. We're going to have to wait to see whether there is any proof at all for all of this before he actually wins that, that bet. Let's see what the U.S. Uh, Oversight Committee also comes up with.